What's going on, Lebanon? Excited for the market report this month. Obviously, everybody's wondering, has the market shifted? Before we get into that, my name is Derek. I'm with Remax Homes and Estates Littman Group. Uh, I live here in Lebanon, and I'm excited to go through the data for actual Lebanon um, here in Wilson County in Tennessee um, because I love this area. Obviously, I live here. And uh, so let's get into some of the numbers for the market report this month. Let's see if we can come up with a good hypothesis on whether the market has shifted. Are we in a recession? What's going on here locally? Now, I have my theories about what's going on nationwide. We are maybe possibly moving into a recessionary period, um, which might mean we see house prices falling on average nationwide. Now, just like back in 2008, did we see every market crash? No, some markets continued to increase in value while some markets crashed larger than others. So let's talk about Lebanon. I have my theories about what's going on here. Um, I'm excited to kind of get into the numbers because I'm a big data, data person uh, or a data person, data, data, either one. Let's launch my recorder here on my screen and let's get into three, two, one. We are live here on the screen now. Let's chat real quick about average sales price to start with. Um, we are seeing an increase in sales price. Now I have a theory on this. We were up over that half million dollar mark back in December of this year. Um, you know, people trying to get those homes sold before the end of the year. Uh, I think with the information that people have, are getting through media that, you know, the market crash is coming or that we're in it, I think we saw this increase in sales prices from people thinking now's the time to get in let me see how much money i can grab for this house um and so really trying to capitalize on some equity that people have in their homes right now which good or bad that is what's looking like it's happened so we have an increase of close to fifty thousand dollars here in our market in lebanon from april to may now um if that's the case what we should see here is when we go over to new listings we should see an increase and there it is Right, last March, you know, we had 189 new listings. We went down in April, 176. Then all the news came out in May. Hey, you guys, market's about ready to crash. And so we had a bunch of people jump in. These are people who are sitting on the sidelines waiting for it to hit the top of the market, waiting for them to time the market. And I think this is what happened. A bunch of people said, all right, now's the time. Let's get in. Let's see if we can sell this house and how much we can get for it. And so you see this increase in homes, which good or bad, that's what happened. It seems as if, um, so this huge increase month over month uh, for homes. So the last time we were above, you know, the 250 new homes mark was back in May of 2020. So tons of houses just flooded the market. Here's the thing. There's still a lot of buyers out there. So we should still see good home sales prices, good, good, a lot of homes going um, under contract and all that stuff. So obviously with lots of new listings, we're going to see an increase in homes for sale as well. So obviously that's going to be up um, last month from in April, we had 196. This month we have 235 um, homes for sale pending sales, obviously that's probably gonna go up as well. These numbers are all really correlated with you know the supply and demand. You know, The more supply, we're gonna see an increase. If the supply goes up, we're gonna see an increase in a lot of these numbers. So here we go, pending sales, obviously are gonna be up as well. Because a lot of people were like, great, there's a bunch of new homes in the market. So we had a lot of people who are buying those homes um, who have been putting in offers for a long time and getting bid out and all that stuff. Um, closed sales. This is an interesting one. So this one is down. So, you know, normally in, in, with a correlation, we would see if there was an increase in, in pending sales and homes for sale and new listings. Um, we would see a, a closed sale increase as well, except what else happened is the interest rates gone up. So we're starting to see maybe that take effect here. So we did see a little bit of a downturn in actual closed sales last month. Um, I don't know if that is from the financing increase where people were maybe under contract and then they couldn't afford it anymore because of the interest rate increase where they had to come up with an extra thirty or forty thousand um, dollars. That can be challenging, and so I think we're seeing a closed sale decrease because those interest rates are increasing. And I also think we're going to start losing some of those um, entry level buyers at some point as well. Here's one that really kind of indicates for me what kind of market we're moving into. And this is gonna be days on market. How long are these homes sitting on market? And once again, we have, you know, we're very low numbers. I'm obviously just gonna go off the averages here. And in fact, it went from an average of last month, we were on market for 13 days, we went down to eight. 
Um, my theory about our market is that we are still in a hot market here in Lebanon. I do think that we are gonna see home in prices increase. We have too many people moving into this market. We have too much job growth, um, large corporations, moving here, moving to the Nashville, greater Nashville area, and they need workforces. They need a workforce. And so we have a lot of people who are getting transferred here, a lot of people who are moving here to work these jobs. And so I think the market's gonna stay hot. This is a good indicator, you know, days on market. Um, month supply again, kind of the same thing. Now, because we had so many new listings, we did see a increase in month supply. So we went from 1.2 to 1.4, which we like to see, you know, obviously we'd like to be around the three to four or five month supply, um, but we're not quite there yet. So we got a 1.4 month supply. It'd be nice to get back up to some of those normal numbers. Um, percentage list price on average. So homes are still selling for over asking price on average, right? 101.1%, um, which I think, like I said, because of the hot market, will continue to stay above 100% uh, for the foreseeable future, in, in my opinion. Um, percentage of original price, this is also ticking up. So we're at 100 point, oh, that's, that's the median, let's see like the average, here we go. Also 101.3%. So that is of the original price, what are they selling for on average, over still asking. Um, original prices, this has kind of just been slowly increasing. We did see a weird spike here back in 2020. Um, must have been some big homes that went up for sale here in Lebanon. But the average um, original price has been 519 now, just over that half a million dollar mark. Um, price per square foot, this is another indicator of whether I see a market shift or not. And we are still seeing increasing here in price per square foot. Um, last month we were at $218 and now we're at the $220 mark on average. So you're seeing that price per square foot. This is a great way also to see what homes are on sale. So I know a lot of new builds are still under that $200,000 range. My wife and I just put an offer in on a new build here in the Lennar neighborhood and we got it for $175 a square foot. That house is on sale. So that's a great deal if you can find homes for under $200,000, or sorry, $200,000, $200 a square foot. Um, and if you need help finding those, you know who to call. Um, and then dollar volume. This also, you know, how's the market doing? This is a good kind of overall, we saw $72 million in dollars trade hands um, in May, once again, up from April by almost, what is that, $3 million. So once again, we're still in this hot market. Lebanon's not cooling off. I don't think we're gonna see much of cooling off here. Just because if you think about it, the Lebanon market itself is uh, still less expensive than a lot of places in the country. And I know a lot of locals here don't want to hear that or they don't want to hear the fact that, you know, this is a reasonable market to live in. There's good gut job growth. The weather is great. It's just really a great place to live. You know it. I know it. So we're going to see people moving here. Um, and because of those factors, I do think we're going to continue to see um some increase here in home prices. I do foresee by the end of the year, possibly some sort of leveling off, at least for a while, because I do think national media will kind of calm the storm of big businesses moving in and, and raises and all kinds of stuff that's happening here currently. So all that being said, I do see a eventual leveling, leveling off in, in our market here. But for the time being, I do still see an increase um, of that. So once again, though, I do think we are going to lose lower end buyers. So I think we might see, um, you know, homes for $400,000 and less sitting on the market a little bit longer. It's going to be harder to get financing because of the raised interest rates. So there's some factors that are coming into play that might slow down or artificially kind of level off. But then you might see investors moving in and buying those properties up as well, which, you know, good or bad, good or bad, that could be a thing. That. Um, all that being said, y'all, if you ever need help with anything real estate related, feel free to shoot me a call. Like I said, I'm, I live in Lebanon. I love this area and uh, I would be excited to help you whether you're looking to rent or buy or move, sell all the fun things you want to do in real estate, or if you just want to get together and I can do a home um, checkup, right? I think every home needs this. It's just like a medical checkup. I am doing two of these a week. I schedule them in. And so if you're looking for someone to come over, take a look at what you're doing with your home, what upgrades have you made? Can you get more money for it? Just a yearly checkup, I think, is very important. Um, and that way you can kind of stay on top of like 
things like getting your air conditioning unit or your HVAC unit upgraded. Or, you know, if you're planning on doing floors, you can chat with me about what I think is a good option for flooring right now. And that sort of stuff to make sure that your home stays top of market um, when you are ready to sell or just really ready to enjoy it uh, to its full extent. All that being said, my information is below. If you ever have any questions or want to get a home review, I love to do those. Uh, shoot me a text message or a phone call or an email or anything, and we'll get you all set up. Thank you so much. Have a great rest of your day, y'all. Bye.